out because I'm running a little late. Uh, but it's all going to be posted. Okay. What materials do you need? PowerPoint presentations generally, no more than 13 PowerPoint slides. Most people want to read an executive summary. They don't want to read a business plan. Banks want you to be able to give them the executive summary orally. Because at any time I'm describing my business, I ought to be prepared whether I'm trying to hire somebody, talk to a customer, talk to a vendor, about tell them about what we do. What we do is an executive summary. So don't get hung up on the limited way people talk about rocket pictures or executive summaries. It's what you do all the time. You need to know this about your company. I believe big companies ought to write an executive summary every year. They lose their way. Every division of a big company ought to write an executive summary every year because they forget why they got to where they are. When you are done today. So here's what you've got to talk to. Cover five or six areas of what's the word? Risk. Okay? Remember, you get attention up front, whether it's an audience or one person or the bank. You get one time to say to Ed, Ed, here's who I am. And that's what he's going to remember. And when I get through with that few-minute discussion, I want him to say, I'm still here listening. What do you want? Now I, don't, now I control the discussion. In the beginning, he controls the discussion. First impressions. You all know that. I'll skip the obvious. Here's the key. The heart of the pitch. I.e., this is the slide you should spend the most time on. Really basic stuff. What's the problem you're solving? In this company, you can decide. Even though there's no technology, there's no intellectual property, okay, it has a point of why it exists. As ugly as it is, it has a point of view. You can decide what it is. Prove there's a customer need. Problems should be at the top of your customer's need to have list. In other words, am I selling Beth something? Oh, that's nice. Oh, damn, if that really works, I need it. Fundamental distinction. Something she, oh, that's nice. Oh, damn, I need it. Damn, I need it. Higher valuation. Lower risk. Less behavior change. Solution. Don't get too detailed. Don't please if it's a technology company. Lay out the 13 slides of your technology. Nobody gives a crap up front. What you want is, here's the problem. Here's my solution. Here's why I'm going to succeed. And if I can do that, you're still at the table. If not, you're at the table but not listening. Here's your team. Here's my team, right? Sitting right over here. It's my sales guy, right? You're it. Oh, all of a sudden he wants to be on the team. <laughs> Hitch my wagon to a rising star. Market opportunity, current competitive market and strategy. It is really simple. It is so hard to write. One and a half pages if you do Word. Don't tell me it's three. It means you haven't distilled it down enough. Current status, critical risk, plain and simple. Here's somebody said about rounding. Remember we talked about rounding? Here's the projections. Here's what they look like in the executive summary. Pretty simple rounded numbers. Discuss competition. This is really important. Substitutions, including doing nothing. For many of you, doing nothing is the biggest competitor. Here's what a competitive shop might look like. Okay, here's the criteria. Now, of course, you have to convince the investor this is the criteria. Here are the companies. Kaiser is the company we're talking about, and these are all the competitors. So I have to talk to the investor about who the competitors are, how I compete, why I'm better. This is where we find out how full of crap you are. You know already by now, getting through fast track, you always have competitors. Closing comments. Let me just say, here's what, here's what loses. This is from investors who decide they don't invest in company. Why? 
Okay? Failing to learn. This reminds me of a company in 2000. Why are you different? You've got to have the answer to that. Okay? You don't understand how a investor works or how a bank works. You go in not knowing how it works, you lose. Nobody wants to spend time educating you on this. In this case, it's an equity person. None of us are ever invincible. You know what an NDA is? Non-disclosure? Okay, that's bullshit. Forget it. Nobody signs it. In Europe, every technology person I ever met wants a NDA and nobody ever gets financed. And they never see the relationship between not being financed and asking for an NDA. They're still hung up so much. Oh, I can't tell anybody anything. Sorry, you had a question? Sorry. Oh, surprise. Oh, surprise. Which side? That they don't get financed or they won't show it? That they don't get financed. Oh, why? Because no investor is signing an NDA. Ever. Period. End of sentence. I'm in the business of looking at deals. That just says you don't trust me. Screw you. And I've heard, I've heard that. That's, I'm not. I'm quoting when I say that. Yes. <laughs> but you say you got to trust me, but there's plenty of stories of sure. PCs screwing sure. you. Absolutely. Screwing you. Absolutely. So correct. Wait, wait, time out. What percentage of plenty of stories are there? I don't, I don't know. What? Very small. Thank you, Suzanne. Less than 1%. You only hear the stories of the one that gets screwed. What about when they look at your idea and say, it's a great idea, but we don't want to buy into this group. We'll incubate it in the house. Thanks for the great idea. See you right, later. Right. I've never heard of that. I know the story theoretically exists. Okay. I've never heard of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What? What are you going to say? It's the same. It's the same. It's just, I know a lot of people in this business, and it's, they have... If your idea is simple enough that you need to get an NDA to cover the idea, then your idea is stupid. And your NDA doesn't work anyways because people would know it anyways. Even though I'm laughing, we are. Everything's about a relationship. If you want family money, you've got a relationship. If you want a friend, you've got a relationship. If you want to get to an angel or an investor, you better get related from somebody. Here's the email. Greg asked me to call you. Sent your death. I love this slide. And it's not mine, so it's even better. CEO can't explain it in less than two hours. My point of view, CEO can't explain it in 12 minutes. I think this slide's full of crap. I believe you either get my attention or you don't. You got 12 minutes. Frankly, I think most people, Americans, are down to three and a half, but you got 12 minutes. I may still be at the table, but you've lost me. I'm, I'm doing my emails on my blackberry. <laughs> there are a bunch of other reasons why deals suck. I want to get to this key slide. This is not intended to be a cartoon. What's the message here? Get to the meat of the Get to the meat of the business. Get rid of the fluff. This is a National Geographic slide. I absolutely think it's fabulous. <laughs> we have one minute. This slide is key to end, so don't leave. I promise I'm only going to take one minute. It's a ranking system that one venture capitalist gave me to say how they rank a deal with the rating system by all the categories. I would think it's pretty neat. By the way, I'm not suggesting everybody uses this. I'm suggesting, oh shit, I've never seen one of these. Well, then it was worth coming to class. Multiple sources. They're all not all good or bad. It's a mixed bag of multiple sources for entrepreneurial finance. It's all about slicing the pie and figuring out the risk and reward about risk. And I'm sorry I kept using you as the example, but you all get that point? No matter what we're talking about, whether it's a bank, I gotta talk bank ease. If it's the seller, I talk seller ease. The venture capitalist, it's venture ease. But all the messages around why this is good, which is the executive summary where I finished. Last point, the most boring point. Please understand numbers. Get over your fear. I gave you a six or seven step process that doesn't take a calculator. Thanks.